What's up, sports fans? My name is Chris. You are now watching Bench Talk. We are a daily NHL betting show committed to bringing you NHL winners on a daily basis. In today's video, we have a stacked NHL slate with all 32 teams in action. And we are coming out firing with three sides and two player props for you guys to make some money here tonight. Now, before we get to the plays, though, if you haven't already smashed the like button, please go ahead and do so now. If you guys are new around here, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We have just eclipsed 1,050 subscribers. The next stop is 1,100. And if we can get there by the end of the night, that would be fantastic. Now, without further ado, here's tonight's five selections. The first play we have for you comes in the Colorado-New York Islanders contest. We're taking the Colorado Avalanche on the money line here, minus 140 over the Islanders. Look, this game may seem like a trap game to most, uh, but not to me. The Colorado Avalanche are simply dominating uh, the first two weeks of the season. They're 5-0 on the season. They're putting up a ton of goals. They're defensively, they're sound. They're giving up just 1.6 goals uh, per game through the five games. They're killing penalties at a 95% uh, percent clip. And the Islanders right now, they've only scored more than three goals in one of their four games. And they've played two games against the Sabres and one game against the Coyotes. Not exactly defensive juggernauts by any stretch. Now, coming into this one, Colorado's traveling, uh, you know, cross-country to New York. But they've had three days uh, to prepare for this game. The Islanders, they're coming off a low-scoring loss to Buffalo on the weekend as well. So they have, you know, a couple of days off as well. But I like the talent discrepancy here with the Colorado Avalanche. Give me their top echelon talent to get the job done on the road versus an Islander side that's just struggling to score goals. Give me the Colorado Avalanche here on the money line, minus 140. The second play we have for you comes in the Dallas Stars-Pittsburgh Penguins contest. We're taking the Penguins on the money line, plus 100. Look, I believe this is a very critical moment for the Pittsburgh Penguins uh, season. They've lost two straight on the year. They've not played well defensively. And now they open up a four-game homestand before embarking on a three-game Western Conference road trip. If there's ever some urgency that's needed for the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins to show through, it's going to be here against a Dallas Stars team that is, yes, undefeated. They're 3-0-1 on the season. But they're not scoring goals, uh, you know, as we're used to seeing uh, from them last year. They are coming off a 5-4 overtime win against the Philadelphia Flyers. But on the season, they're averaging just a shade under three goals uh, per contest. And defensively, if the Pittsburgh Penguins can play up to their, uh, you know, standards, they have some great defenders on the on the blue line. Pittsburgh Penguins should be able to handle the Dallas Stars at home in a much needed uh, get right spot here for the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Dallas Stars, they're playing their third road game in four games. And they're not exactly uh, lighting up the lamp. And if road fatigue could be a uh, play a factor here. Give me the Pittsburgh Penguins on the money line at home plus 100. The next play we have for you comes in the Nashville-Vancouver Canucks contest, and we're taking the Nashville Predators on the money line at home, minus 120, or the Vancouver Canucks. Look, the Predators have been playing some good hockey of late. They've won two straight games, outscoring their opponents 9-2. to They're good defensively, and the Vancouver Canucks come into this game uh, playing their last game of a five-game road trip. They're 2-2 two two on the uh, road trip so far um, through four games. But the National Predators at home should be a good, uh, you know, value here at minus 120. The Canucks, defensively, they gave up a ton of shots, but somehow they're giving up uh, just 2.6 uh, goals per contest, despite giving up nearly 37 shots on goal per game. I expect that to regress uh, in terms of the goals against uh, average here to the mean, and I'm expecting the floodgates to open sooner or later for the Vancouver Canucks defensively. Give me the National Predators here at home on the money line, minus 120. The next play we have for you is our first player prop of the card. We are taking Tyler Johnson of the Chicago Blackhawks over a half a point at odds of plus 120. Look, Taylor Hall's uh, out for a little bit. Tyler Johnson's going to get boosted up to the top line, uh, riding shotgun with Connor Bedard. And we like it the top line here to produce some points uh, against the Boston Bruins side that is, yes, 5-0 on the season. They're coming off a sweep of the three-game uh, Western Conference road trip. Most recently, Sunday, they beat uh, Anaheim 3-1. But this game, with their final game of the road trip, uh, you know, winding down, this could be the letdown spot, uh, you know, everybody's kind of expecting from the Boston Bruins. And Tyler Johnson, he's got off to a good start. He's knocked three goals uh, through the team's first six games. And with Bedard, uh, you know, playing, uh, you know, first line center with him, I expect Tyler Johnson to be able to produce some offense here against a Boston Bruins side that, as I mentioned, should have some road fatigue creeping into their legs in this one. Give me the top line of the Chicago Blackhawks to produce. Give me Tyler Johnson over half a point at a great price of plus 120. The last play we have for you is another player prop. We're taking Jack Hughes and the New Jersey Devils over one and a half points at odds of plus 120. 
look, this kid's going to be a superstar one day if he's not already. He's got great shot. He's got great talent. He's got great vision. And he's put up multi-point games in three of the Devils' first four games. He's the go-to guy on a good Devils team. He's the quarterback uh, of the power play one unit. And against the Montreal side that's coming off a back-to-back uh, after beating Buffalo uh, 3-1 last night in Buffalo with travel, I expect the New Jersey Devils to dominate this game from start to finish. And I expect Jack Hughes and his lineman Jesper Bratt to go off offensively tonight. I'm taking Jack Hughes here at plus money prices. Give me over one and a half points for Jack Hughes at plus 120. That wraps up Tuesday's edition of Bench Talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support the videos, please smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and if you guys have any questions about the games I didn't cover in today's video, drop a comment in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer uh, whether that's a you know a lean or opinion on either game, side, total, or player prop. Doesn't matter. Leave it in the comment section. The next episode of Bench Talk will be available on Wednesday morning. Until next time. One, two.